The S&P 500 ended last week down for the 13th time since the start of the year, dragged down by Nvidia. We'll reveal the winners and losers that drove the index performance, changes to the index, and which companies will announce earnings next week. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to understand how individual stocks impact the S&P 500. Let's jump right into today's S&P saga. The S&P 500 closed the week at 5,408.42 cents, down 4.2% from last week, losing an incredible 2.5 trillion of market cap. The P/E ratio, based on current price and latest earnings, stands at 28.26, down 1.25 points since last week. Let's go through your gainers. Procter and Gamble is up 9.5 billion or 2.4% on no specific news. As we'll see in the remainder of the gainers, it seems investors turn to trusted industrial companies. AT&T is up 7.7 .7 billion or 5.4% on no specific news. Note that the company is suing Broadcom on anticipated changes to its license agreement. United Health up 6.2 billion or 1.1% on no specific news. Visa up 6.2 billion or 1.1% on no specific news as well. Pepsi up 6.1 billion or 2.6% on a 10 year renewal of the exclusive agreement it has with the Papa John's chain. Moving to your losers, Nvidia is down an incredible 405.7 billion or 13.9% as investors continue to lock in profits on their positions. This follows disappointing results that were announced the previous week. Alphabet is on 159.8 billion or 7.9% after a judge found the company illegally monopolized the market for online search. Apple is on 124.4 billion or 3.6% on no specific news. Broadcom is on 120.2 billion or 15.9% as the company reported disappointing earnings guidance in the recent earnings release. Microsoft is on 114.8 billion or 3.6% on no specific news. This week, there were three changes announced to the S&P 500 that will be effective on September 23rd, 2024. American Airlines, down 23% over the past year, moving down to the S&P mid-cap 400, will be replaced by Palantir Technologies, up 100% over the past year. Etsy, down 21% over the past year, moving down to the S&P small cap 600, will be replaced by Dell Technologies, which was up 45% over the past year. Finally, Biorad, down 8% over the past year, moving to the S&P mid-cap 400, will be replaced by recently eligible Airy Indemnity, up 83% over the past year. Q2 2024 earnings season is mostly done for the 503 S&P constituents, with 5 members releasing results last week and 9 companies left to report earnings. 3 S&P 500 members will release earnings during the week ending September 13th, 2024, and the most interesting will be Oracle on September. September 9th and Adobe on September 12th. Which company do you think will top the list next week and why? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe to our weekly updates. To find out why Berkshire Hathaway and Apple were up last week, you should watch this video next.